We are looking for 450 cases and we have people, officers here from 29 different countries and they have brought their cases to the table and we are investigating with them these more serious cases. These are the most serious rapists, murderers, child sex offenders, fraud and drugs cases. We've been very successful so far. We started on the 3rd of May. We have already located and arrested nearly 110 of these fugitives. We know where many more, or we think we know where many more still are, but what we are doing at the moment is we're asking for the public's help in these more serious cases that we have no leads on and we need the public to help us. It could be any one of a number of reasons why these people have evaded justice. It could be the fact that they're actually traveling across borders, uh, they're using their different languages, many of them speak different languages, they're using, they're, some, they're using the fact that they can move across countries and away from their national jurisdiction, which makes it more difficult for people to find them. He, um, was convicted of heinous crimes against children. We believe he's still going to be re-offending on these crimes. Um, he has escaped from America. He is now in Europe. He uses his languages. He can be working anywhere within France, within Spain, within Italy, because he speaks these languages fluently. And he's a classic example of a fugitive that can actually move around through borders uh, quite freely using their language skills um, to find work, etc. If you know anything about this suspect, Christopher Ward Denninger, or have seen him, please contact us through the following email address, fugitive at interpol.int.